Hey, hey, it's Kelly here at... Don't run with scissors. almost forgot my name. That's funny. I hope I am your favorite lawyer, Jeep, Jeep driving mom of twins with two rescue dogs who likes to cross stitch and craft. It's mostly been cross stitch lately, mostly because Maisie ate my cord to my sewing machine. I am hoping to get over and take it to a place that a good friend of mine recommended. It's where she used to get her machine serviced. She now lives in Florida, so it's not like she'd come back here for that. Um, hoping to get it over there maybe tomorrow or Wednesday to get it all fixed and jazzed up and working again. Working like it should be. Fingers crossed. Um... My only haul this week isn't even stitchy related. This, these apparently are the brackets to fix the drawer fronts. Um, I bought a new charger cable for my phone again. For the second time in a row, I bought the wrong cable, charger cable. So I have to take that back tomorrow and try again. Actually, I just ordered the right ones off of Amazon and I know they're the right ones, so yeah it's been a week I hope everybody else is having a good week um I'm out of sinus infection meds which is good that I've gone through them but I don't think it's gone on the good news though I got my front porch I have like this enclosed porch area and it had become like the dump well, from day one it had been the dumpy ground for building materials and just everything like everything just got dumped in there it was never organized as much as I would beg the kids to go and clean it and organize it like three things would get taken out of there like three pieces of wood or whatever would get taken out and taken to the curb and that would be it and I don't know what else to do um so I finally basically had a big huge panic anxiety attack last week and cried to a friend of mine and she came over Sunday um and we got some things done and one of them was getting that front porch area all cleaned out and um, kind of a plan of attack for finishing up the rest of the projects in this house and, and really getting it um, where it's just cute and cozy, just what I want. So she taught me, or we got the pieces to fit on the front of the tile counters. Um, I bought the bought a gallon of kills white paint to paint over like to prime the the wallpaper and all of that um and a few other things she's coming back on sunday um for us to get some more stuff done it's a little overwhelming not gonna lie <laughs> she's like a powerhouse and honestly she's one of those friends who um I can trust to open up to about a lot of things and um, not feel judged, but she's also not going to take, like, I don't feel good, I'm, you know, or whatever. She's a powerhouse. Like, she's she's a little bit of a bulldozer. And as a person who can be a bit of a bulldozer herself, um, I appreciate that. <laughs> you know? um, she also knows me well when I'm getting kind of overwhelmed with everything and like there's just too much she'll go okay let's take a time out let's you know so it was a good thing so her and her husband are coming over i have a soft spot um on my floor and he's gonna fix that um and i'm not sure what else we're f i know we're gonna put the molding up i don't know if we're laying and grouting flooring Or if we're going to tackle the living room. Um, either way, all of it's got to get done. So it's kind of exciting. Um, so unless you want to see the sponge that I bought to, to work on some of the tiling. Um, it's not over here. I have a sample of the flooring that we're going to use, but I don't know where it is.
I think it's over by Bean, but she's not paying attention to me. Um, this is going to be a rather quick video because honestly, I'm getting a migraine. I ate like an unsupervised toddler frat boy today. Yeah. Yeah. And needless to say, my body is reacting well to it. Plus, I think the weather is shifting here again in Michigan. Yeah, yes. So, best new thing. Um, those of you who have who are with me on Instagram will have already seen this. However, last week, my lovely friend Dana <gasps> bought me a crown! So now I have two. Two. It's glorious. Yes, I wore it while driving the Jeep the other day. I drove to Starbucks. And again, we tried the, just give me a venti of whatever your favorite is. Um, what I am finding at the one Starbucks near my house is a lot of them like toffee. So like a toffee macchiato instead of a caramel macchiato. Um, so we ha are starting to get a little, I've had a couple that are pretty close to each other. Um, not complaining. But yeah, it's kind of, it, it's interesting. There's a Target that's Target Starbucks or Starbucks that's in a Target that is on TikTok that is local to my office. It's closer to my office. So I might, when I go into the office in a couple of days, like, well, when I take the sewing machine and I'll swing through my office, switch out some files and do some stuff. Um, they're on TikTok and they always have like these Disney themed drinks and stuff. So I may have to figure out which exact target, like which exact Starbucks it is. Let's see if I can't hit them up while I'm over there. We'll see. Um, but yeah, glorious crown. Dana bought that for me and gifted, sent it to me. Total surprise. I absolutely love it. They're actually kind of fun to wear. And I'm going to encourage all my friends, if you don't have a crown, you can get a really pretty crown for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. And they are amazing to wear. And even if all I did is scrub my toilet wearing a tiara, why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. I think everybody should. Um, there's just something, it, it makes you feel better. And apparently I figured it out. Somebody told me, so I didn't really figure it out. If it goes like this and it doesn't go all the way around, that's how you know it's a tiara. If it goes all the way around, then it's a crown. So I have two tiaras. I do not have a crown yet. Yet. No sad. Yet. So that is my best new thing. Um, this one is by Sweet V on Amazon and they have a discount code. So it makes them even better. And yeah. And if you don't know who to buy a crown for or a tiara for, feel free to send it to me because I will wear them every freaking day. Not even going to lie. Every day. Um, what else? What else? So you've seen all my haul. You've seen my best new thing. I did finish. I have one finish. I thought I'd have two for you. I only have one. Yellow polka dot bikini. Got done. Yes. So cute. So because that is the second in the Wiener Dog series, I got to cross that off my whip go board. That square. Although I don't I don't remember if the square's been called or not. Um I think it has been. So that is done. The other thing, this is the other one I thought would be done. It's not. Because apparently I cannot spell when following a chart either. Because I spelled receive. R-E-C-I-E-V-E. -E -E, and had to go back and frog it and spell it correctly. If you remember also, I let, left off a word when I first started it and had to restart it. 
then it's every other sentence or phrase is the other color like there's two shades i think they, they do two shades of dark browns i have two shades of lighter browns i forgot to switch so i had to unfrog part of a phrase this is lizzie kate's prayer of saint francis the other thing is is they've charted all these cute little i don't know if you can see them so there are a lot of like little flowers and hearts well that's a ladybug which is just kind of weird and there's a bird okay and a butterfly and i don't know what the hell that is up in the corner i, I don't know i wish i knew it looks kind of like a flower but maybe it's a dove maybe it's a dragonfly I, I really i don't know and the fact that i don't know means i'm really not attached to that motif saint francis is the patron saint of small animals now i know we have had this discussion on my on my group or on this channel he's a patron saint of small animals so I get having the bird, but I don't understand the little basket with two tulips in it. Maybe the ladybug I can understand, but that's an insect, not an animal. Insects are animals. Yes, I know they are, Bean, but it's different. Bean just told me that insects are animals. Okay, but it should be like a little dog. There should be like a little dog and a cat and a guinea pig. And so I'm still torn. I have, okay, so here we go. Here's where I'm at. I'm on the very last line of all the text. And then I had to finish um, this line of the blue that kind of divides them, which I'm not, I don't quite understand the dividing line there. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't quite understand it. So I just have to finish that through in the very bottom line. Um, and then add in the little motifs. I love the colors this time around. Still not crazy about this font, but do I do the stupid little, or stupid, do I do the cute little flowers like that's called for, or do I change them out for like a dog and a little cat? Like, I'm pretty sure that if I look at Chester's place, the little animals that um, Jen has charted, I could probably just pop them in space wise so then i would have like a guinea pig i would have a cat i would have a dog um i think i might be able to put the horse in here i could keep the bird that she's got charted I don't know. so let me know what you think I, I could put like a little turtle some fish Um, so hopefully, well, the words will get finished tomorrow because honestly, after I set my computer to upload this, um, I'm going to go crash and go to bed. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think I should do. But like I said, I only have the one more line of text, which is good because, um, the one shade of brown, that's all I have left of it. So it's a good thing we're kind of nearing the end of that brown. Um, obviously, I drive past Joanne's. Joanne's is in the same parking lot as my Myers where I go grocery shopping. So it's not a big deal to like swing in there. It's less than four miles from my house, which is probably why it's really dangerous. Um, we are coming up on mania i've already talked about my plans um with mania and i have where did i put it a lot of the patterns that i picked asked for blue backgrounds so i did dye my blue the other day and it's it's so pretty it's much prettier in person i don't know what it is about the light and camera um so my mermaid will go on there. Anne Frank will go on. 
this. I actually think I'm going to put Harriet Tubman on the blue. There's not much out of Next May or out of Mania pattern-wise that is going to not go on this fabric, which is kind of exciting. And I mean, I, I dyed like, what, two yards? Almost, yeah, about two yards worth of fabric. Um, so that will be at least Anne Frank, Harriet Tubman, The Mermaid. I don't know if I'm going to put MLK on here or, or Ask Not on here. I think those are the two. I have just a little square of white for the Jardin Privé one. Um, the cranes, the cranes will probably go on here. And then depending on where that puts me, I may do my About Me sampler on this. Because I think it's really pretty. Um, so there's that. So the other thing that's going down is... Um, Mary Ashcroft, who's probably all of you watch her, she is another attorney out in, um, I think she's in California. Mary, are you out in California? She's an insurance litig defense litigator. Um, so we don't practice in the same areas of law, which is still fun and exciting. I think it's cool. Um... She has decided to stitch Lady Justice. Lady Justice is my piece that I got my pattern. It actually showed up on my house the day that um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed. So in my brain, I associate this as a memorial to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I want to stitch this. I have wanted to stitch this. We all know I want to stitch this, and I have wanted to stitch this for a while now. I have not bothered. To I, I just haven't sat down to start it um, because I started the one... Lady of the Flag. When I do her, I had already decided I'm going to switch her dress out to like a black and gray, like a robe, like a judge's robe. And I'm going to switch her ribbon to purple because purple for law. So Mary Ashcroft and I are going to sell her together because Mary's got her pattern. Um, I think Mary is still deciding on what fabric. I'm going to put her on the same gray as Lady, my Lady of the Flag is. So when I hang them in my office, they all sort of are cohesive. Um, so that is going to get started very shortly. Um, I love her. Yeah. I can't wait. Um, I know that Pam from Pam and Stuff. Um, Pam just finished hers, I believe, and it's gorgeous. Um, so lots of people still have, are, are doing her. So come say, I don't know what her sale hashtag is. I haven't talked to Mary about that. Um, I'll let Mary decide because really I'm just along for the ride. Um, but if you want to stitch Lady Justice with us, let me know. I know that um, Janet is doing Queen of Freedom. With, that is also, to me, those those three, Lady of the Flag, Lady Justice, Queen of Freedom, all go together. And I have all three patterns. Um, so, yeah. If you want to join us, let me know. Or let Mary know. I'm very excited. I have to copy the pattern. I always do that so that I have a working copy so that I can... Uh, Highlight, because otherwise I'll get lost. Shit, I can't even follow the words to spell them right. It's some, it's some days. Um, other than that, I haven't really gotten... I did start... Wait, wait, wait. That's not true. I do have... Let me see. I did start Serendipity. That's my other start that I did. I started Serendipity. Of course, I've changed the colors. I'm not 100% sold on my color choices yet. They're supposed to be a little bit more tropical, and maybe once I get more of the colors in. But I did start it. I did start. We shall see. 
um, yeah, that's it. That's it. A couple more days in April, which is kind of exciting. It would have been my grandmother's 100th birthday this year in April. I kind of miss them. Actually, I do miss my grandparents. Um, both kids got their first round of COVID vaccines. Both of them had a mild reaction to it. Um, more so my son, it seems, than my daughter. Which doesn't surprise me. Because I think they probably have the same level of reaction. But my son is a little bit more whiny than my daughter. Um, I th tomorrow should be the new Whip Go Goals for May that come out. That'll be kind of exciting to find out. Yay. Um... And tomorrow, or no, the following day, so on Wednesday, The Handmaid's Tale new season comes out. And I am totally psyched. Um, the trailers look fantastic. And I cannot wait. I've read the books now. Um, I've read a couple books since we last talked. Um, I finished... Something by Jennifer, Sh The Resistance Women by Jennifer Shavarini, which she, I started reading her because she wrote a book called The Quilter's Apprentice, which I absolutely fell in love with. And I read, like I'd read the first eight or nine books in that series, like devoured them. They were fantastic. Um, and I thought this was one of those that belonged in that series. It's not. Um, it's a fantastic book, but it was not, like I was expecting like, quilters and, and that, and it's not, um, but it is a, a good read and it would be a highly recommended. What else did I finish? That was a big one. Um, right now I am reading or doing the third in the series from Percy Jackson. Um, surprisingly, like, I didn't think I'd like that series, but I really, I, it's been fun. It's, it's kind of like the Disney Keeper one. I didn't think I'd like it, but I really enjoy it. And it's just a lighthearted book and series and it's kind of fun. So I'm reading the third one now. And there's another book. Oh, Sold on Monday is the other one that I'm reading, which is just kind of sad. Um, so I will continue listening to those. I have been getting... A little busy again a little bit busier and busier at the office which is fantastic news like fantastic takes so much weight off my shoulders in one way and then adds a different weight on them but um yeah otherwise that's about it you kind of know what's going down uh yes bobby i am a total bobby mentioned the 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 movie it's a series on Netflix called The Circle. If you're not watching it and you're into like just a, just a funny no-brainer show, um, that is one of those guilty pleasure sort of things. <laughs> not gonna lie, I this is not the second season. And I've watched both seasons and I think they're funny. Not gonna, lie. yeah, yeah, it's kind of fun. So. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys are watching. Let me know what you guys are reading. Usually it's reading that I ask for. So let's let's do, what are you watching? Um, let me know if you're playing the Starbucks game where you go up and you just ask them, hey, give me a vente of whatever your favorite is and pay for it. Um, the really cool thing is Sunday when I did that, um, the car in front of me paid for mine, which I was absolutely floored um, and so grateful. Like it was amazing. And I went to pay for the guys behind me, but they had already play, paid on their mobile app. But I tried. Um, so instead I, I tipped the barista, whatever my, I think it was like $15 for my two drinks and I got a bakery treat. Oh, and I got puppuccinos for the, the dogs and the, the lady was so cute. She gave Lizzie, you know, Lizzie's my big dog. So she gave her like a small cup worth of, worth of sour cream, worth of whipped cream. And Maisie gets the little cup. Maisie like is all dainty about it and Lizzie's just like getting whipped cream all oh god I was wearing whipped cream it was kind of funny um but yeah 
they're funny. But they don't bark. They, the lady or anything they love her. Lizzie sits in the big chair in the back seat. And she's big. So she's, I mean, she actually sits up taller than I do in the Jeep. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> and she's just sitting there. And then she, she sticks her head out. And just kind of looks at her like, please, lady, please, please. Can I have my treat, please? But she doesn't bark her at her or anything. And then Mace over there just like little dog spastic. She, Maisie is very scared of strangers. So she's over there like cow like shivering like cow like, hey stranger danger, stranger danger, get away from me. And then the lady felt bad because Maisie wouldn't eat the whipped cream right away because the lady was a stranger. And Lizzie is over there like licking it so much that she's kind of flying. And that really truly really just like explains my life in a nutshell. Um oh, so <laughs> jokes with the boy child. What was the joke that I told him the other day? Y'all appreciated my Darth Vader joke. What the heck? What? It took me like four times to remember the punchline. That was the worst part. I went to tell him, what's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a... Oh, gosh. Now I'm going to have to... Hang on. I, because it's going to bother me that I can't tell you this stupid joke. And I literally, I tried to tell it to him like three or four times and I had to stop I'm like, son of a witch, I don't know the term, but I couldn't get it right. And of course, the more I struggle with it, the more my kids are just like over there dying at me. Like, mom, please just make it stop. And I'm like, I, I don't know. Um, let's see. It would be under a photo maybe? Okay, here we go. Hey, Bean. How do you get an astronaut's baby to stop crying? You rock it. Okay, that was funny. That was not the joke that I was trying to tell. See, this is... Let's see if this is it. Hey, hey boy child. This is what do you call a chicken who stares at lettuce? Chicken sees a salad. Okay, both of those are funny. So the first one is, in case you didn't hear it, how does an astronaut get his baby to stop crying? You rock it. What do you call a chicken who's staring at lettuce? Chicken Caesar salad. Hysterical, but not the joke I was trying. I, for the next floss tube, I promise you, I will get the one that I was talking to them and trying to tell them about the... Yeah, let's see. It's going to bother What's me. What's the difference between a dirty bus station and a lobster with... Big breast. So no, one is it? What's the difference between? What's the difference between a dirty bus station and, and a, a busty lobster? lobster. Breast. One is. A crusty. So one is a. One is a crusty bus station, and the other is a busty crustacean. That's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants. And that was it. It took me. I'm not kidding you. I had to film it four times, and clearly, still now I don't remember the joke very well because I had to go and look for it. Yeah. So there you go. There's three great jokes. 
mom jokes that are just totally lame and yeah. So that's what I've taken to torturing my children with is mom jokes. On that note, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna take some migraine meds and go to bed. I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody is doing well. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your neighbor's mental health if you can help. And who knows what my house will look like next week when we film. <laughs>